Hi, this is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how you can easily render multiple clips at once in DaVinci Resolve. For those who don't know, you can do it in two ways. The first way how you can render multiple clips is when you have all of your clips in single one timeline. Like in my case, as you can see, I got one clip, second clip and third clip all separated and all in one timeline. So let's say it could be sport highlights, podcast clip or anything else. And let's say you want to simply render already edited clips that you have at the single timeline. For this, all you have to do is go to deliver. Here, set up everything in the video tab as you want. In my case, it's going to be MP4, H.264. Everything else can stay as it is. And now I'm going to file. And here I'm going to change the majority things. So first of all, I am going to check the individual clips as I want to render three individual clips and not all video as one. Then you want to set the custom name. In my case, it's the SOA tutorial from Valorant. It's going to be SOA tutorial. And the file suffix is going to be abyss as it's from the abyss map. It really doesn't matter. You can set here whatever you want. In my case, as I want to render multiple clips and I want to have them separated, that means not all of them will have the same name. I want to use the unique file names and I want the number of the unique file names would be add as a suffix. So I will check the suffix one and I will uncheck add source frame count to file name because I really don't need this in name of my file. But in case you would have too many clips and for example you want to separate them and you want to make sure that none of them has the same file name, therefore none of them will be deleted, you can keep it checked. But in my case as I have only three clips I can easily uncheck this. Then I can create the file subfolder. So here at the top, we can choose where we want to render our clips. So let's say I want to render it towards this file and then I can choose the file subfolder. Let's call it, for example, SOA tutorial and it will create new subfolder in which all of those three clips will be rendered. Then we can also choose the digits in the file name. I can set it up to three. I don't really need more. And as I don't need to preserve the source in directory levels, I can uncheck this as well. Now I will simply click on add to render queue. Of course, after you will check everything is OK set that you have the name. As you can see, it's combination of the SOA tutorial and the file suffix and that you also choose the location. You check the individual clips and everything else. So I will click on up to render queue. And now we can see that in the render queue, we got one item which has three clips. Those are the three clips we are going to render. And all I have to do is click on render all. So now, as you can see already, the second video is being rendered. And when I will open the location, we can see that we have this SOA tutorial folder right there. So I can open it. And here I can see already two rendered clips and third is being created right now. So as you can see, the name is SOA tutorial abyss and there is unique file names for each of them. So now when it's done, I can open any of them. So let's say the first one. As you can see, it's rendered as a separated clip. The first, second and third. So this was the first way how you can render multiple clips at once in case they are all in the one timeline. But let's say you don't want to render this kind of clips. Let's say that you want to, for example, make them 9 to 16 resolution and add some overlay or anything else. So give me a second. Okay, so now as you can see, we got already 9 to 16 video resolution like TikTok clips at which we have added another overlay with our YouTube channel link. So as before, we rendered multiple clips at once, it rendered only one timeline. So it would not work in this case because the overlay would not be rendered above our video. So in case you got multiple video timelines used, for example, overlays, FX, CGI's, whatever, you want to use the following way of the rendering multiple clips. So this time, let's say we want to render those three clips. We are going once again towards the deliver. But now we are not going to towards the file, but we are going towards the video, single clip. And now we are going to change everything, of course, how we want the MP4, 264, everything rest can be as it is. The resolution, as you can see, we got already 1080 to 1920 because it's vertical video. So we want to keep it as it is. And now I want to change the name. So I will keep it on Sova Abyss 1, for example. And as you can see at the moment, it's set up that it would render all length of this video together with the pauses. You can see it by this 
gray line at the top of the timeline. So as I don't want to render it as a one piece together with these poses between, we want to set the start and the end of each individual clip. For this, I will click on start of the first clip and I will click on I and then I will click on the end of the first clip. So right there and I will click on O. As you can see, we just identify the first clip and as we already set the location and the file name, the Sova Abyss 1, I can add it to render queue. As you can see, it appeared in our render queue and now we are going to repeat the process for the rest of the clip. So I will click at the start of the second clip, I will click on I, then I will click on the end and click on O. I will of course change the name, so Sova Abyss 2 and I will add to render queue and the same with the third one, so I for the beginning and O for the end and Sova Abyss 3 add to render queue. Now as you can see we got three individuals project in the video render queue. So now if you would like you can even change or edit any of already added video projects into your render queue and also as you can see when I will select any of those you can render any of those at any time but in case you would like to render all of them at the same time you can click on first and then you will hold shift and click on the last one as you can see we selected all of them and you can click on render all now it's been all rendered at the same time and once again it's going to be put in the same folder as we get the settings from the previous render method so now when i will go to soa tutorial as you can see new 9 to 16 vertical videos appeared voila this is how you can easily render multiple clips at once in davinci resolve okay but ladies and gentlemen that's all for this really short davinci resolve tutorial video really hope you found it what you were looking for hope you are good and video fine thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time